habitation the, the needs for your survival. All right. So our, our habitation is the needs for our survival. So all we think about and contemplate on is surviving, getting, getting my clothes and getting my job and getting my money and getting all this stuff up. But it's your habitation, God. That's the only way that no evil gonna befall you. That ain't he ain't gonna give angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't be the head and not the tail if you don't go back to the beginning of that verse and say, He that hearken unto my voice and diligently obey it, then I will make you the head and not the tail. If it ain't declaring it, your life declared it before your words say it. So revelation has to be revealed to me. All things are revealed through the process of time. Everything I have questions about will be revealed. That I don't understand will be revealed. But is my heart ready for it? The Bible says, and you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. We can have the knowledge of the truth and still don't be free. I had knowledge of a lot of words. But I was still bound in there. I know what the words say. But it wasn't revealed to me yet. It didn't become revelation to me yet. Sometimes we quote them scriptures that, that God shall supply all my needs. God say, I'm going to make that revelation to you. I'm going to take away your needs. See, you don't know that scripture yet. God. It ain't revealed until I begin to take your finances and take the pull away from you so you can now get the revelation that I will supply all your needs. You ain't got the revelation of submission yet. You ain't got the revelation of being the head of your household yet. So I start breaking in there and making sure that she tearing stuff up in your home. I want it to become a revelation to you. I want it to be revealed that you may have the complete understanding of what the quoted word is trying to do in your life. Like the Bible said, my word would not go out bold. And God started showing me what that meant. God said, I said my word, and it would not return unto me bold. Sometimes that word of being afflicted. See, the, the, the psalm writer said at first, at first when I was afflicted, I ran astray. Come on. I went from church to church. I went from person to person. I ain't let nobody get close to me because I didn't want to get hurt again. When God's trying to show me something about myself, I ran. I ran. Come on. But the Bible said, then when it became revealed to him, he said, it was good that I be afflicted, that I may learn your statutes yeah. yes, and follow after your way. Good. It was good. That's why Jesus can say it was, God can say it was good for me to bruise Jesus. And everybody may get the revelation of Christ. It would be revealed. But what the word does, God sends the word out. Word, one of the words he sent out to me is, Come on. Come on. <laughs> what are the words that he's been to me is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding and I will direct your path. And I heard that word, but it wasn't revelation until stuff started getting wiped out in my life. And stuff started happening in my life that I'm like, God, what in the world are you doing? What's going on? And the word kept saying, lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge me in all your ways, and I will direct your paths. So God has a set time that he want to reveal the revelation to you. He want to give you understanding. That's why I don't get upset with people no more. That's why I don't wonder why people ain't got it no more. That's why I don't wonder how you can be sitting on the bishop this long and still ain't got it yet. Because it ain't been got, it haven't become revelation to you. So I got a set time. He's going to send you through enough trials. And I ain't going to be your God for you. <laughs> I wish you to you gonna send you right back to prayer, back to him. But sometimes it got to become revelation. Let's deal with revelation now. Let's deal with time real quick, then we'll deal with the process and we'll get on out of here. Amen.
One of the greatest things that God has given us is time. When you done did everything you can do, the last thing you can depend on is just time. Sometimes I bitches say time got to be your ally. Because time will begin to reveal who is with you and who's not. Time will expose your true enemies. It will unveil the truth to you. All you got to do is give things time. Quit trying to make things happen. Quit trying to expose people. That's God the only one that can do that. All you got to do is give things time. And shut your mouth and pray for the person that you might have a misunderstanding. That God may reveal their own shortcomings to them. But not you. <laughs> All right. That ain't your job to reveal that. So I said it should be never be a thing when you get an attitude with people because it's God's job to reveal and expose. And a lot of times we want it to be openly, but God wants to do it privately between them two. Wow. That's what you pay for. Yes, sir. Have mercy. But time pushes things back. I'm so glad we got time. Because think about if God was to drop all your trials and tribulations on you at the same time. <laughs> if it was just eternity, like, boom, everything would fall on you. It seems like that happened to Job. That everything, but time gives you time to deal with pain and deal with situations where you can grow away from the last hurt and away from the last pain. Now, okay, it's a year since that happened to me. It's two years since that happened to me. Now I'm able to heal because time is pushing things farther and further back. So I can draw strength from that. What time do is give us phases in life. God give us life in phases. It's our job to go through the phases but not get attached to the phases. You have different phases. You got to understand that now. I can't, I can't be trying to do the same thing I was doing before I got married and had children. I'm in a whole other phase of life. Some stuff that I really wanted to do can wait to another phase of life. Because <laughs> I ain't got the time or the patience to try to deal with stuff while you got no family. You got to not get upset and just take your time. But even when it comes to hardships and hurts and different things that have happened, that was a phase in our life. But God didn't want us to get attached to it, but we already always revert back to that phase. I just should say that a lot of women got as a library that they'd have been hurt, but that doggone hurt controls them all the rest of their life. That they didn't got attached to what God wanted them to go through in order to get the revelation of him. But they got attached, you know. And some people, boy, you can just see that they got that uh, 